I am an English teacher. I read essays, I teach grammar, I quiz students on vocabulary, and I make teenagers discuss literature. I am an English teacher. I help students find the symbolism in a poem, I ask for analysis of a text, and I facilitate collaboration in my classroom. I am an English teacher. For most of my career, this is what I have taught. But about two years ago, I was given the opportunity to teach a children's literature class in high school. <laughs> to embrace my inner child and to become a kid again. Well, at least for a period of the day. So tonight, in celebration of the many wonders of childhood, I would like to share with you a poem that I've written titled, Oh, the Places We've Been. Inspired, of course, by Dr. Seuss. <laughs> Congratulations, today is our day. To celebrate our successes, to shout hip hip hooray. We have faced our hard moments, we have given it our all. We have made a difference to both big kids and small. With our colleagues, our mentors, our bosses, and our friends, we have worked and worked and worked without end. We've traveled down the bumpy roads, the steep and the slick. We've gathered knowledge along the way. Some might even say our brains are quite thick. We've reached out to those who have fallen and scraped their knees. We've opened our hearts and tried to please. We've given advice on how to succeed, how to never give up, how to help those in need. Oh, the places we've been. We have taught everything under the moon, how to behave, sit up straight, and ignore buffoons. <laughs> how to add two plus two, how to spell definitely, how to hypothesize and conjugate, and memorize dates from history. Out there we've experienced the craziest stuff. We've giggled, we've laughed, we've heard lots of guff. Our patience has been tested, our creativity explored. But one thing we can all agree on, we've never been bored. Oh, the places we've been. It hasn't always been easy, it hasn't always been fun. We've had bang ups and hang ups and have almost come undone. But with each little challenge, with each little lurch, we've unslumped ourselves and risen to a higher perch. For we're not the ones to give up and walk away. Nope, sorry, I'm really emotional. No bang up or hang up can cause us to sway. We see each challenge as a blessing, a gift, an opportunity to succeed for our lives to shift, to become someone new, to hone our craft, to spark flames of learning, to cause a backdraft. Oh, the places we've been. Onward and upward, we reach for our dreams. Onward and upward, we head full steam. For there is much more, oh, much more, oh, much more to be done. Many, oh, so many kids to reach under the sun. So with our heads full of brains and our shoes full of feet, we head down that less traveled street. The one that might scare us or frighten us away or cause us to struggle and not want to stay. Remember, remember that life can be tough, but the places we've been have filled us with the best kind of stuff. <laughs> 